Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Star Drive 2. Tips and tricks in Brutal. As we can see, we're surrounded by fleets of monsters, pirates, remnants and oh boy what all. Destroyers, I think these are smaller ships. No, that are destroyers too. Remnant destroyers, all, all oh, ancient, ba ancient battle cruisers. Now look at this. Laser cannons for point defense makes sense. Fusion beams, even more fusion beams. And there's something I wanted to tell you about weapons. Why is the corvette of the um, robot guys that I play so powerful? Because their corvettes have this four squares left and right, and you can pick, put in pulse cannons, you can put in flak cannons, you can put in rockets, disruptor cannons, point singularity weapons, plasma rock cannons, whatever you like, it fits in there. Well, uh, the laser rifle, oh, the, the laser turrets, for example, they do. So, this is a very versatile ship. Most ships, except for those of the uh, Bears, Kilrathi, or how they're called, and um, they have a little bit more space here, but besides that, this is the best ship there is. So, that is a total good race. At the moment, we are advancing towards the wormhole where the black guys come from, um, the dark ships, the black ships. And we have our little fleet here, our protection fleet. And these buzzers are armed with disruptor cannons. Yes, they're more short-range weapons, but they do good damage, I hope, and they will prove useful later on again. I'm already thinking of sending them against those remnant destroyers. Only problem is, I'm pretty sure they make short work of us. But they're not armed. They're not armed, but this weapon will destroy us before we can react, so that's not good. That brings us to technologies. We should focus on technologies that we don't get better in higher stages. For example, we don't go for the battleship construction because we will get Titan construction and we'll only build Titans then. And battle station conquers itself or uh, takes place with the Star Fortress. So, as we need the Titan construction more than we need the Star Fortress, we will go for the Battle Station. That as an example. Biospheres and spaceports, we go for the biospheres because we need the room to breathe. So, let's have a quick look at our empire. Everything seems to be alright, except that this guy here can die. So... So far, so go. Oh, no, 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 no. Better. So, good, 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 good. So, let's move on. Oh, we have two isle planets. This icon here is very important. This icon tells you that a planet here is without something to build. And that's bad. Why do I build the Xeno mine before I build the automated factory? Because the Xeno mine is cheaper in hammers to build. Then we build this, then we build that, then we build this, and then we build that, and then that. Nice. And we have one more planet, as the little number indicates. And we're going to build that. Seven turns. That's a lot of time, actually. Well, we'll see. Our fleets have arrived at the location of the subspace anomaly. In many ways, the anomaly appears to be a short wormhole, except that our ships and probes are being repulsed from the event horizon. What is abundantly clear is that the science fueling this phenomenon is well beyond our ability to understand it. We'll need a dedicated research team to study this effect if we ever hope to understand what we're looking at. Did you miss us? We sure missed you. In today's episode of Racial Profiling, we're turning our attention to the curious Darlock Council. I think these are the um, Darlocks from Masters of Ryan 2. 
The Donut Council have ended this cycle sporting strong capitalistic idea and then a percentage of murder and sub subterfuge. Whatever that is. It's a strong combination we haven't seen before. And we think there are certainly contenders. We've asked for a command. The Dalek Council is pleased to discover that we're not alone in this galaxy. There is ever so much that we might learn from one another. Don't you agree? Yes, we do. But here we have the feeling that the Dalek are more interested in learning about more than the other races are willing to share. Well, only time will tell. And you can be sure that we will report and you decide. Yes, we will, because we will kill those guys. Um, we will take direct course for that planet. And we should not forget that we must take care of this remnant fleet and all these monsters because they will start eating up our people, our transports, if we're not careful. So, you go with those. Everything seems to be fine. Uh-oh. That is nice. Artifacts. Uh, artifacts! Woohoo! Artifacts are great. Plus one research to every scientist in your empire. And there is a hostile fleet coming for us. Huge Baron. We should send a colony ship there, by the way. Ancient shipyard. No kidding. Okay. Our fleet is ready. So. Everything's alright. Here we have too much food. We should try to reduce the food amount. That's good. So far everything seems to be alright. Okay, um, one of you go there, very very good, you should not go for farming. We leave farming to the automated farms. Turn! And we fight! The problem here is not the fighting, our fighters can do that easily. The problem is to keep our little ship here alive because they will sure as hell fire on it first, second. Because it's already wounded. Our big ships can take the damage, no problem. I hope I armored them. Oh, they're the big empty. They're not my regular warships. You can see that by this red indicator, which means they have only point defense weapons. And we're losing the first fighters. But now we're inbound. There's something you should know about rockets. Rockets are great. One of the best weapons to start with, if you ask me. But the problem is, rockets tend to be slower than most enemy fighters. Which means, fighters can outmaneuver rockets easily. Hooray! I think it's time for some bombardment. The problem if you bombard planets with n nuclear war. Well, the problem when you bombard planets with nuclear weapons is... Um, look at this, we're pre producing waste. So... We will wait one round before we engage them. And they're coming closer. Okay, um, I've got an idea, but before we do that, let me do something else. Bombard. So, free to take. Capture. Defense flares assimilated. This model fires a small volley of flares to emit a broad spectrum of energy. This can often confuse the target. Discrimination package about incoming missile, causing the missile to devour vectors of flare. Okay, that is an ECM, mainly. Okay, over the bridge. Biosphere researched. Nice. 
now clean energy industrial output or unhappiness overcrowding um we have a big minus on uh, pollution so we have no pollution problem we have a big bonus on production that will even increase by this one so we take this and into the pit into the pit and then we build this and then that and then this and then that and then that and then we'll see on nice how many ships are this these are just destroyers but don't underestimate destroyers they're powerful ships they are uh, we see the enemy fleet there we better join we could already send our ships upwards but I think ah, they should not be underestimated look at this and they have shields they have shields ah, okay we join with the other fleet should be the wisest thing to do so you have done enough with building I think uh, we can look for construction of our ships again for a second I want to try something a pulse cannon has not the best damage but a good range and let's look for a weapon with a big damage well actually that is the best oh then we cannot fire forward okay both are energy weapons in theory you could take um, weapons that have ammunition because the main bonus on energy weapons is that they reload themselves that you can operate far away from home that is not necessary with this Corvettes because they're mainly mainly um, defensive units so we could go for rockets the only problem is rockets don't do that much damage that's the problem rapid fire they have a range of 200 and that range is simply higher so okay I want a fusion reactor I want more and more fusion reactor I want plasma steel armor to protect us because main, main, the main amount of the damage will be coming from in front so nice how long can we fire without oh seconds without empty can you build that in 24 that's not good let's try something else it will make the thing far more expensive seconds to empty infinitive still infinitive we could add a small fuel cell for 110 range but that is is not really necessary but there is not much more we can build in there is there we could try to build a cockpit in it oh I've got an idea I've got a, I've got a, I've got a splendid idea wait a second this are mainly defensive turrets right but if we fight someone with a greater range we must close in fast so we need the engines no we need the engines we must be not the f um, not the smallest on the we should not be that slow so infinitive it's still infinitive okay three reactors and we're still infinitive and we're not that slow good give it a new name 
Oh, we cannot give. We cannot construct new ships. We have a buck here. Okay. When you have that, that you cannot build ships, um, then it's mainly because you have uh, to reload the game. Okay, then we have to build buzzers. So they will be upon us in every second now. And we have to build uh, some more buzzers to cope with that. Because they will be on top of us. So. Move that guy down. Great. Okay. Fight. That will be a harder fight than normal. Because you can be sure that those guys will be defending their home planet with everything they have. And they have... They have big ships this time. They're the same size we have. Good thing is we're armored. So we're not take going to take, take that much damage, I hope. This one is already down. There was a question why use lasers. Very simple. Lasers are cheap and lasers are, um, well, indefinite in firing. They cannot run, uh, run out of ammunition. And they're actually not that bad in range and damage. So, laser cannons, I don't use them because I'm not so good with them, but in general, I don't think they're a bad weapon. That battle station was well armed. Okay. Nice. We can do auto because this is um, an exploration ship. If we don't do auto, it will flee every time. And now they want to talk about peace. Maybe they only have iron beams and will get the iron beams when we take them. They do not have... Oh, they have some money, but not that much. So we're not that interested in their lives. We bombard. Well done. And captured. And there are the iron beams. Hello and welcome to an ep exciting episode of Guess Who's Dead. I won't leave you guessing for a long. It's the Rayleth Theocracy. It looks like the Elder God nonsense turned out be to be exactly that. I can't say they'll be missed. But even with the elimination of the Rayleth Theocracy, there's still seven empires left in the fight. Who will emerge as champion? We. We report you. Decide. Yes, we do indeed. Um, they fight, you watch. So, we will now only do them one by one, because I do not want to waste research on anything. So, next terminology is, battleship construction sounds nice, but actually we'll get titans, and then we don't build battleships, so we go for the battle station. Do that slowly, don't overdo it. Oh, come on. Give me that battle station. You're kidding me, right? And there it is, the battle station. And next thing, well, there is the mech factory, which is nice, because mechs are, have 200 life points and are really, really, really big guys. But, um... They reproduce very, very strange, uh, very slowly. The defensive battery is good, but we're not out for defenses. Heavy weapons will give our normal troops the ability to use rocket launches, which will do 40 damage, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going for the heavy weapons. Most of the heavy, most of the weapon systems you can develop I are crap. Simple as that. They're crap. They're simply not useful. 
Um, and that's the reason I think that is the best ground ground weapon you can get. Get heavy weapons. So first thing we built is this for the food, then that, then this. This battle station, cloning center, and here we go. So most important thing we must get rid of the remnant fleet. They must die first hand. Ooh, too much food. Solved. How many do we have? Nine. They're building a buzzer. That's nice. The question is, can we upgrade our... Oh boy, look at this. A battle station costs 650 hammers. We don't have that much. So we'll have to do without that. Well, let's hope we can do this. Oh, they will be all over us within seconds. No construction. That is unacceptable. Give me that. Give me that. Give me this. 10, 10, 10. Who else is doing food here? Looks good to me. Well, that makes no difference because of the pollution through to the bombing. Yeah, bombing has its downsides. It's very, very bad for the people. Oh, look at this. Someone has to jump the gun. Nice. Maximum population. One of you must jump. Thank you. So we're building buzzes here. Let's have a turn. And here they come and we fight. Now don't forget we have a battle station, a, 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 a fortress, not a fortress, a space station that will help us in the fight. So we stay back. No reason to get more damage than necessary. Oh, look at how fast these ships are. Incredible. They're trying to flank us. So the idea is that they get damaged before they get through to us. Let's hope that we can destroy the fighters. So we're not we're not doing much damage here. As I see it. Uh oh. What is wrong? Why are my guys not turning? Something is not okay here. Are they out of ammunition? Oh, I think they're f shooting at the fighters. This fighter sure can take some damage. Okay, I'm not that impressed by this little green bolts. Boy, we've lost three, three of the buzzes. I think we have to reconfigure them. I'm not that happy. I think with rockets we've done much more better. 
Okay, we can have one more big ship. So I say... No, let's build the colony ship first. You join the team. Good, we're producing a lot of food at the moment. Sending people to reinforce the colonies will not be a good idea at the moment because they will run into the remnants. Just to show you, if we're sending, for example, people here to Omelette or to um, Relos, they will run into the fleet. And that is not what we hope for. We're putting all our research into the AM field. Why? Because with nine research, that will do nothing good for 260,000 at uh, 2,600. That is only good for the smallest project that will make our planets more, well, endurable. Look at this. Private shipyards at one will cost 25% less PC. That's actually impressive. Okay, let's have a quick look at the planets at our disposal. They have Baka root. 0.2 population. That is accepted. Mono seasoned. Interesting, but not exactly what I'm looking for. Ancient shipyard. They're good at building stuff. Okay. They're building another colony ship. That's nice. Oh, we don't care. We move it. Oh, look at this. In Loth, people have arrived. Lambda seeds. What's that? Plus 0.5 food throughout the empire. Oh, yes. And you can go down the road. Actually, these guys here are protecting our empire at the moment because nobody can get through those guys. I guess. Oh, and look at this. They're coming our way. These little morons are coming our way. And you have been built everything, so you build... Well, this, and then that, and then this, and then that, and then this, and then that. Nice. You're doing good. Very, very proud of you. So... I think there are more planets that we want to... ...settle on. Yeah, this one here is, I think, good. With the ancient shipyards, that sounds useful. This one here is already under control. That one is already... Oh, they're not building anything. Oh, yes, because of the population. Popul uh, pollution, they're still struggling with the pollution. But we need this lambda seeds. We must get rid of all that enemy ships. That is not good. <sighs> okay. Fight. Okay, we stay back because we want to pay time by time for, for our fighters to engage the enemy. So I've given them the order to stop. And I sh think we should split up. Yeah, we're losing fighters already, but that's not the problem. 
We already got through the shields of one of them. And the other one is history too. Nice. Good work. Nicely done. Woohoo! Plus 10 research. Like this would help anything. Uh, a large barren heavy G. That's actually a horrible planet. Okay. Um, that is a pirate fleet. That is a remnant fleet. That is a remnant fleet. And they're even bigger. So I think... We go here and make a stop there. Oh, we have a new colony ship waiting. That's nice. Move there. That's the planet, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Everyone has something to do. It looks all nice and juicy. Confirm! You build this, then you build that, then you build this, then that. Then this, then that, then this, and then that. And then we'll see on. Nice. Why are you with the guy? Oh, you were there for protection reasons, okay. You should go back. I think we have should reconfigure you. Battle station. Oh yes, we have a battle station. That's nice. That's more command points. That means we can start building bigger ships again. And farm has been built. Excellent news. This planet no longer suffers from penalties at the M field. That is because we researched that. So, question is, who is the next biggest threat? Destroyer, destroyer. Those ships are much bigger, look at this. And much more dangerous, in fact. An ancient battle cruiser, and I think they, they're not giving much more in, in money. But, we'll have to deal with them. We'll have to deal with them. And we have no idea what's in here. We should build a scout ship. Or at least something like that. Here is a planet. Ready to produce again. Oh yes. Oh yes. Look at this. Um, yeah. I think that will take you one turn to build that. And then I want. Uh, no. I actually want a colony ship. Nice. Yeah, we're having uh, little problems with the payment at the moment because we have a so big fleet. No, actually not. I think it's because we have so many buildings. Oh, yes. Colony maintenance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Um, where to go, where to go, where to go? I think we take out this guys first. Oh, even better. We go here and kill... First one and then the other. I sh I think we should be able to deal with those guys. I really think we should be able to deal with those guys. Ancient shipyards. Nice. Um. Yes. Then that. Then this. Then that. Um. This. That. And then this. And then we see what comes next. So, the Explorer has been built, which is nice for us. And the Explorer will immediately take off and find out what this thing here has to offer. And we could even build another one and send him to this unknown location. But we're doing good at the moment. And there is another planet who has done everything we asked him for. 
Oh, this and that and then this. You're doing so well. I'm totally, totally happy. Um, that reminds me, I think we can now start sending people to all the planets because now... Confirm. Because now we have the population to do so. So, excellent. Excellent, everyone is building and we're sending people everywhere. That's nice. You go there. Do we have a problem with... No, we have no problem. We have no problems. Everything's alright. Which is strange is that the two fleets are not reacting on us. There's trouble on the horizon. A fleet of warships. Um, those scubby pilots. Okay, where are they? Does anyone see the pirates? I sure don't. We have another colony ship ready. Now we need a planet to colonize. That one is not it. That one is... Oh, this one here is. The lump dust seeds because of the seeds. I love seeds. The question is... Where are the pirates that are threatening us? Hmm... I think we should build one more big empty. Actually, no, we should build one more sun flare. These are the far better ships. And where are they? Oh boy! Look at this, they're coming for us. And we're miles away. Let's look at them. They're actually two carriers. Armed with class 1 shields. Two of them. Okay. Let me ask you a theoretically question. I cannot even build a sun flare because... Too big. They do not have a shipyard yet. Sending ships there takes how many turns? Twelve. Oh boy. They will be there within far, far, far earlier. Okay, there is only one thing we can do, and that is... Build small ships. We can build um, seven corvettes to take care of those guys, but we can only do that um, if I reload the game or otherwise to say I stop now, kill the game and load it again. So that means that it is that is it for today's episode and we'll see each other again next time. Until then, bye!